Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight we're gonna look at the latest release of the PMDG 737. The aircraft received an update earlier this week and there is a lot of fixes in it uh, based on feedback both from the community but also uh, I think by issues which they found out themselves. So let's go to the uh, release note list and that's a pretty long one as you can see right so I need to scroll to the top. Uh, so it actually has been released on the 3rd of uh, June which uh, was yesterday, right? So, and you can see that both, let's say the uh, general documentation received the updates, but also the external model, uh, the systems, the virtual cockpits, uh, the sounds, the AFDS. So everything received updates almost. Uh, the thing is that there are still no fly pad avail available in the aircraft. So that's something you need to uh, take into consideration. Uh, a lot of the items are, I would say, related in or fixed in the general and virtual cockpit section because in the virtual cockpit there were some issues detected by multiple people uh so that is i would say cool to see uh, also there are some changes to the fms right the uh, flight management system uh, there are now some options to I would say easily go back and also change the display order to uh two options back to original um and there's some things where they i would say change the uh the engine uh, because it uh, took too long to start uh, at high altitude uh, one thing which you need to take into account is uh, if you install this update and then use the aircraft for the first time, it will take, I would say, a pretty long time because everything needs to be recompiled because so many changes have been, uh, been taken place, right? It's also mentioned in the, uh, in the in Notem number two. Uh, so don't think that, it, or Notem number three was it. Yeah. So don't, uh, I would say, think, hey, Flight Simulator hunks or something. No, it simply is, I would say, recompiling everything and making sure that you can use the latest edition of this aircraft so if we look at the uh pmdg operations center you will find multiple things right if you are lucky you will find the uh let's say notams for the new aircraft but you can also see that there are some new uh what is deliveries available i'm gonna dismiss this one because i already installed them so always go to the aircraft delivery section then press the check now but in most cases it will show a new version here in this case you can see that i installed the latest one if not simply press the update button and it will update it uh, looking at the delivery specifically uh, there are a few updates and also a few new ones so most of the south uh, west airlines uh, to be on uh, to be exact this one this one and this one received an update and there are now several fictional airlines being added to the uh, livery section. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, I think this, uh, the Spirit uh, one, the PSA one, uh, the British Airways one, and the American West Airlines, if I'm correct. Uh, there were a few of them, so that's really cool to see. Also, if we go to the, uh, let's say, cargo version, there are a lot of changes right so everything which is shown here which has the word uh, fictional in it uh, except the uh, olympic one is added to this section so a lot of liveries also to the aircraft so let's have a look at the aircraft itself right so here it is it's uh, parked over here uh, so I would say there, there are so many updates, right? So we, we can't review all of them, uh, but let's go inside the cockpit because in the cockpit there are most changes, right? Especially uh, there were some complaints earlier about the initial release in the cockpit and some buttons and some text, which was not uh, shown correctly. You can see that the cockpit received an update, uh, which I would say receives, I would say, a, a, a round of applause because they really spent some time on seriously updating it and making it, I would say, the quality which you would have expected in, also in the initial version, to be honest. Uh, also, the FMS, right, which is over here, received some updates in the uh, menu options, uh, so that makes it all easier. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, there are so many changes, right? So let's go back uh, to the uh, to the list again. So the sounds have been updated, uh, but also if we look at the documentation, the documentation also received some updates where some things didn't work uh, work correctly, um, and also some units like the the ground operations one, right? The air start unit is able to be called when the stairs L one is connected. 
that's not normal process and you can see that this person right he submitted a lot of bugs uh, if you go to the list you will find his name multiple times so that's good to see um this is uh, where this video ends because we simply don't want to go to each single item right because it will be a very long video uh, i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to put them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time